You dedicate the book to your parents. I do. Since they're the one that took you into conversion therapy, why, why do you dedicate it to them? I mean, at first I think it started off a little ironically. Like I wanted readers to think mm -hmm. like, what's going on here? Why would you dedicate it to your parents? But they came around. You know, my parents had both asked for forgiveness for what they did. They realized that, that it was harming me. They didn't do any research. They listened to, to older church members about what to do. And, um, and based on that advice, they sent me to this conversion therapy facility. Once they found out it was harmful, uh, they apologized. Is he still preaching? My dad, yeah. Mm. He still has a, a, the same church. Wow. Okay, what happens in conversion therapy? Well, there are a lot of different versions of it. It's been around for a while. So basically, they try to turn you from LGBTQ to straight using various tactics. I mean, they throw everything at the wall to try to figure out like. how to change you. Like, uh, you know, they, they make you sit across from an empty chair and yell at an imaginary parent how angry you are. This is, this is why you made me who I am. You blame the parent. Yeah, they, they make you blame your parents. They make you list off all of your sexual thoughts or experiences in what's called a moral inventory. And you have to, you have to do this in front of a whole group of people and then they basically shame you. They say, you know, these are, these are wrong thoughts, these are wrong feelings, and these are Bible verses that will help you get out of it. So here you are revealing the most personal stuff you've ever revealed to anyone, and they're making you feel ashamed. How old were you when they did this? I was 18, 19, so. Why'd you do it? My 18 parents, years old, you could have yeah, left I know. Arkansas. I know, my parents gave me an ultimatum about paying for college and being part of the family. My dad said to me, if if you live this lifestyle, then we're not going to talk to you again. And we're not going to pay for your education. We're not going to do anything. And I think a lot of people think that you can just leave. You know, you can just, you're 18, 19, whatever, you just go to New York. But you've got to think about the kind of social pressure that someone who's grown up in that culture their whole lives is under. Never miss a beat. Subscribe to Larry King now and watch new episodes every day.